Last year when I was here talking to Bob Pring about the Canadian Championships, he invited me to learn how to lawn bowl. So now we're taking him up on it. Right now we are on the wrong side of the fence. So let's go meet Bob and learn how to lawn bowl. Well, here we are on the right side of the fence. Hi, Bob. Hi, Nikki. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. Welcome back. Thank you. I am very excited <laughs> to learn how to bowl today. Excellent. Okay. Um, the object of lawn bowling is to have your team's bowls closer to this jack or kitty than your opponent. Okay. So the more bowls you have closer, the higher the score, the more score you get. So this is rolled in a competition, and we keep it in the middle of the, the green. I'm not very good at rolling it, but I'll put it up there anyway. You're and, probably better than and, me. <laughs> and somebody will straighten it for us. We pick up a bowl. Now this we, is a bowl and not a ball. Correct, because it's elliptical. The different sides of the bowl are marked with a smaller and larger symbol, telling you which way to hold it. Yes, we're gonna, I'm going to turn your hand over. Okay. And the biggest thing is this middle finger yep. has to be in the center of the bowl. Okay. When you step on the mat, use... This is your guide. Okay. So you're going to have I'm on the mat. On the mat, and you're going to aim for the white marker. On that side. Yes. And and I take a step. Step with forward. Correct. Which foot? Left foot. The opposite foot. Yes. Okay. And Pat's out there, and she's yep. very excited to watch this happen. Okay, here we go. Oh man. Okay. After that initial try, I did get better. Bob showed me how to point my feet to help my aim. Aim for Pat. Aim for Pat. <laughs> because there wasn't a big enough thing to aim at, they've now put an entire person for me to aim at. Okay, so I got my finger down the middle. I want to see if you can hit her. Oh. Well, I don't know. <laughs> okay, here we go. Nice and smooth. Hey! After hitting the jack, I foolishly jumped way ahead of myself and decided I was ready for competition. Pat Binney showed me how it's really done in a not-so-close game. Trying to prove my mettle, I almost took out our brave cameraman, Brad Scott. Watch out for the camera! <laughs> So Pat here just cleaned my clock, my first time out at bowling, but I want to come back. So Pat, how would I come back and, and try again? We have a great group of volunteers that are available Wednesday evenings. So if you come at about 7, 7.15, no need to register. Just turn up at our gate and we'll set you up with some, with some bowls and we'll give you an introduction to the game, which starts at 7.30. The only thing that we ask is that people wear flat-soled shoes, whether they be sandals or running shoes. Amazing, and I've got two kids, they're younger. Would they be able to come out as well? We have a great youth program here on Monday evenings at seven o'clock. That's, that's fantastic. And you're outside and you're getting fresh air. Mm -hmm. And I imagine this is a fairly sociable club. Like you've got a clubhouse, you could come and play a game and have a snack. Yeah, that's a great point, Nikki. We do have a, a very social group. We are run fully by volunteers. You can make it as sociable a game as you want, but if you're into competition, then you can be competitive also. We are proud to be hosting the Nationals in August. Competitors from all over Canada are going to be descending into Burlington to compete here to be the Canadian champions. And as the gallant loser, I got to rake. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.